Today's math strategy video is on measuring length and plotting data on line plots. So in this lesson, we will learn how to measure objects to the nearest half inch and to the nearest one fourth inch. And then we will display that information and analyze that data on the line plots. So here we have some leaves and we have a ruler. So let's see if we can measure the leaves to the nearest one fourth inch or one half inch. So let's take out some of our leaves. So let's look at this yellow one that we have right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I have it on this zero right here. And sometimes if it doesn't have the zero, that means you just start at the very beginning of the actual ruler. So right here is about zero. And if I wanted to line this up, it's about right here. So we're going to say that that is about four and one fourth. So let me pick a color that will show up. So the yellow leaf is about four and one fourth inches long. Okay, let's look at, let's erase that. Let's look at the, uh, the red leaf, okay? So put it about, Make sure that it's close to zero here. Now, if line this up, say that it's probably about five and a half inches long. So the red leaf is about five and a half inches long. And just remember these two little marks right here mean inches. Okay. Let's look at another leaf. Let's get this one that has the little berries. So I'm gonna line it up as close as I possibly can. Get my marker here. Say it's about three and a fourth. So the green with berries, it's about three and a one fourth inches. Okay. Let's look at, let's look at this larger leaf. This one's kind of hard because I have to start down here. That looks like that might be, oh, that's probably about as close to zero as I can get. So tip is right here. So that is three, four. So when I read my ruler, I've got, you know, I've got five inches, five and a fourth, five and a half, and then five and three fourths. So the large green, it's about five and three fourths inches long. Okay, let's look at another example. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take some of those leaves. So Jamal's collected leaves for a science project. Some of the ones we just saw, so he's collected some more. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take that data from where he's measured all of those leaves and we're going to organize that data. So let me pick, let me pick orange. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill out my, um, my line plot right here. I'm going to make sure that I have all my measurements. So three, this would be three. Let me make sure I've got a color that we can see. This would be three and one fourth. This would be three and three fourths. Four, four and a fourth, four and a half, four and three fourths, five, five and one fourth, and five and a half. Five and three fourths and six. Okay, so I've got all, I've got my line plot filled out um, with my halves and fourths. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this information here, all the measurements, and I'm going to plot them. So I am going to put my title here. So this is length of leaves, or it could be length of Jamal's leaves, whichever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start picking this data and I'm going to start plotting it. So the first one is a three and I don't have three. Three, so I'm going to look to three and one fourth. Okay, so here's one three. And as I do this, I'm going to mark off 
my data so that I know I've already used that. So then I'm going to put something called a marker down here. It's a little X and it's going to denote that this represents one leaf that measures three and a fourth inches long. Let's see if we can find any more. Here's another three and one fourth. So I'm going to put another X here on top of it right here at the three and one fourth. Okay, now I'm going to move on to three and a half. So here's one three and a half. Another three and a half. Okay, three and three fourths. There's one three and a fourth, and that looks about it. Okay, I don't have any. I don't have any whole numbers, so I'm going to move on to four and one fourth. And that looks about it. Four and a half. Four and three fourths. I don't have any five inch leaves. I've got five and a fourth. Um, another five and a fourth. Five and a half. Another five and a half. Another five and a half and another five and a half. There's a lot of five and a half inch leaves. Let's see, five and three fourths, and another. So now I'm going to count and just make sure I have everything. So this would have been two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen leaves. So two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fourteen, sixteen leaves. So I've got all of my data represented here. So now let's think about what are some questions that we can ask about this data that we see. So, or just what are some things that I notice? So I can ask, you know, what is the longest leaf? What is the shortest leaf? What is the difference between the longest leaf and the shortest leaf? Well, the longest leaf is five and three fourths. The shortest leaf is three and one fourth. So if I wanted to find the difference between these three fourths, Minus one fourth is actually going to be a half, and that would be two. So five minus three, two. So two and a half. Um, what is something else that we can gather from this data? Well, I can kind of see that all of the leaves are mostly gathered down here and down here. So that tells me that most of the leaves are either smaller or really large. There's not very many leaves that are around that are between four and five inches long. So most of them are smaller or larger. Um, also, there were no leaves that were exactly three inches, four inches, five inches, or six inches. And why do you think that? Well, it's probably not, you know, very common to have a leaf that is exactly three inches or four inches or six inches. So we also rounded these. So we rounded them to the nearest fourth and half. So we um, probably weren't going to have very many that were whole numbers here. So that is the end of today's math strategy video.